Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online Weekly Updates video. Going about it this week, we have got the Dubachi 770 as the price that challenge vehicle and the challenges for this week is that we need to come in the first place for two days in a row in the Pursuit Series races. So, good luck I guess. And then there's the Savestra being added as the podium vehicle in the casino. Both of them, if you're a fan of it, go ahead and get this. And now moving on to the discounts that's going on for this week, we have the Enos Deity on discount. Then there's the Shivail Taipan on discount. Adding to that, there is the Streamer 216, which is an useless aircraft, you can just skip it. Along with that, there is the Tula on discount. This will come in handy if you fly, you know, regularly to the waters and back. If not, you can skip this as well. Moving on to the time trials that's going on for this week, we have the normal time trials at the Maze Bank Arena with a part time of 1 minute 17 seconds. For the RC time trials, on the other hand, we have it at the Cypress Flats with a part time of 1 minute 30 seconds. Quite tricky, but you can complete it fairly easily. Moving on to the bonuses that's going on for this week, we have triple money bonus going on the Tiny Racers. This is actually a fun racing event, so check it out and uh, take advantage of the bonus. There's also double money bonus going on the Running Back Adversary Game Mode. There's just about three of these, so I guess check it out and see if you guys like it or not. But apart from that, there is the Community Series Game Modes Selected Ones, I mean, once again, it is just the selected ones, not all of them. So they are on double money as well. One thing that I also would like to mention is that the Overflowed Imorgon as well as the Ocelot Swinger are also available on discount. But keep in mind, these are not available on the websites like they were used to be. These are instead available on the showrooms. There's like two of them. One is the Simeons as well as the other luxury auto showroom. So head over there, check out the vehicles and if you're interested in them, get them. If not, you can just skip them outright. The Swinger, it's not that crazy or anything. The Imogon is basically an EV vehicle. It's somewhat designed slightly different than the usual vehicle. So once again, if you're a fan of these, if you want to add it to collection, then go ahead and get them. If not, skip them right away. But keep in mind, these are part of the removed vehicles. They are not available on the website. So there's that. And then moving on, there's the armor trucks, which are added back to GTA Online in a free mode event type events so you know if you randomly come across the armor trucks well you know what to do go ahead and blow out the back doors and collect the reward money that's a new event week being added to gt online apart from those gang vehicles that keep moving around on the map so yeah new addition but nothing too interesting or crazy going on at the moment so that's basically it guys once again like i said earlier this dlc dropped dead so fast Oh boy, I can't imagine how long and lengthy and boring it's going to be till December when they're going to be releasing the December DLC. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Those are all the stuff that's going on for this week. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned. Thank you all and have a good day.